Ukraine's second round presidential election runoff is less than two weeks away. Tens of millions of voters will choose between two candidates. Petro Poroshenko praised for his role in securing the EU visa-free regime. Ukraine return to the European family. Independence of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church and successfully representing Ukraine internationally amid Russia's war, but perceived to be weak on anti-corruption reforms and limiting private interests in the executive and judiciary. And Volodymyr Zelensky, a political novice and household showbiz name, whose popularity has been powered more by personality, promise and protest against the establishment than concrete policy. Zelensky's unconventional campaign featured videos led with special effects and a powerful social media drive. And that's laid the ground for one of the most unpredictable elections in modern Ukrainian history. His links to billionaire businessman Ihor Kolomoisky, the mockery of Ukrainian politics in the Studio Kvartal de Vinostopiat, or 95 show in uh, recent years, and his dealings with Andrei Palchevsky, who recently lauded a possible reset of Ukrainian-Russian relations on Kremlin State TV. Да, написано в писании. Мы прекрасно понимаем, что 2019 год в истории нашей страны дает нам обеим странам, кстати, перспективу перезагрузки отношений. Has done little to damage his ratings. Now, in the next few days, it will be crucial to see if any of that changes. So, let's give you a recap of the latest developments Petro Poroshenko proposed this Sunday, firstly, that Zelensky participate in the stadium debate. Uh, now, this is what Poroshenko had to say. On April 14th, Next Sunday at the Lepinsky Stadium, exactly where Mr. Zelensky proposed I'm waiting for him to hold a debate. I think 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. will be the best time. I invite the audience and all TV channels for the debate to be held in a place and a time that Volodymyr Zelensky wanted. On Monday, Zelensky responded, proposing the 19th instead, that's the Friday before the election date. Then the head of the Petro Poroshenko bloc penciled in the 14th and the 19th, so save both of those dates just in case. Now the question is, will Zelensky risk losing his political momentum when scrutinised live on national TV by Mr Poroshenko and journalists in front of millions of decided, undecided voters watching? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Now, meanwhile, Ukraine's Central Election Commission has ruled that only a debate hosted by Ukraine's public broadcaster could be considered the official one, according to the law. Now, while details of the public debates are ironed out, it's very important not to forget about the much wider geopolitical implications the election could have. Now, unsurprisingly, Russia, and especially state-controlled TV, is playing very close attention. Uh, on Sunday night's primetime news of the week show, Zelensky was given more positive coverage than Poroshenko. Unlike Poroshenko, Volodymyr Zelensky is not egocentric, and that's why he's capable of self-irony. Now, Zelensky certainly appeals to younger voters dissatisfied with the ruling elite and mostly disenchanted with politics altogether. Uh, the character he plays in his Servant of the People series is a history teacher turned President Vasil Holoborodko. And uh, the teacher is widely viewed as a pragmatic, charismatic and all-round good guy. Now, whether these positive characteristics in a fictional TV series will help Zelensky get real votes or will the electorate choose the experience and stability Mr. Mr. Poroshenko offers is anyone's guess.